What company will probably make you money every night you are asleep for the next 50 years? Stick around to find out. Welcome back guys, Stock Ninja here, and this is episode 3 of Who Beat the S&P 500. In this episode, we continue to explore great companies that have a fantastic track record of beating the S&P 500 over the last 20 years and see if they are worth considering today. Today's company was founded in 1891 and has a strong international presence, serving 80 different countries worldwide. Had you invested $10,000 into this company exactly 20 years ago, with dividends reinvested, you now have a balance of $161,245.36 compared to the $29,970.81 returned by the S&P 500. That's five and a half times more than the S&P with a 14.91% average annual return compared to just 5.65%. Before I reveal the company, if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe for future content. Thank you. All right, what company introduced the world to spam? The Hormel Foods Corporation. As a member of the S&P 500 index and situated within the consumer defensive sector, Hormel trades with the ticker symbol HRL with a current market cap of around $26 billion. HRL currently has a decent dividend yield of 1.9% with a healthy 56.14% payout ratio. The standout though is not only their dividend king status with 50 plus years of dividend growth but also their equally impressive 10 year compound annual growth rate or CAGR of 16.03% when the industry average has been closer to 6%. Hormel's $9.5 billion in revenue is broken up into four main segments. The refrigerated food segment, which makes up the largest percentage of their income at 55%, consists primarily of the processing, marketing, and sale of branded and unbranded meat products for various customers. Sitting at 25% of overall income, the grocery product segment consists primarily of the processing, marketing, and sale of shelf-stable food products sold predominantly in the retail market. The Jenny O Turkey store segment makes up 14% of revenue, focusing on, you guessed it, turkey products. Lastly, the international and other segment only makes up 6% of overall revenue, but this is where the most potential growth lies, with Hormel Foods International leading a push for growth in China and Brazil through their Spam and Skippy peanut butter sales. This will be a segment to keep an eye on. Now, let's see how the company fared in the dot-com bubble crash, the Great Financial Recession, and how it's currently trading during the downturn in 2020. During the dot-com bubble crash, HRL shares fell 40.95% compared to the SPY's 50.41%, HRL doing better. During the Great Financial Recession, HRL fell 41.89% compared to the SPY's 57.61% with HRL once again performing better. Most recently, in 2020, HRL fell 24.29% compared to the SPY's 35.59% decline. Not only did HRL fall less in this case, it also completely recovered, currently sitting at $48.83, only 5.5% off its all-time highs. Thus far, proving to be far more resilient than the overall stock market the last three downturns. Headquartered in Austin, Minnesota, with 18,700 full-time employees worldwide, Hormel is led by Chairman, President, and CEO Jim Snee. Having been with Hormel his entire career, Snee took over the head position in 2016. Since that time, we can see that Hormel stock has appreciated a decent 34.28%. Most notably, when looking closer at Hormel's management team as a whole, I found that nearly all of the current members have been with Hormel since the 1990s, the majority of them having started their careers with Hormel itself and rising the ranks similar to SNE. A familiar face, the Vanguard Group once again is the leader in institutional shareholders, closely followed by the BlackRock Fund. What stands out more is the percentage of insider holdings, a whopping, 47.97%, which is extremely high, with most companies averaging around 5% or less. In my opinion, Hormel Foods Corporation is a very intriguing company, 
HRL has been very resilient during recessions and delivered fantastic returns. Also, when coupling their loyal management team and a strong insider ownership of the company, we can see how strongly they believe in the future of this company. To top it off, let's not forget that Hormel is a dividend king, making the chances of a dividend cut highly unlikely. A reliable and stable company, Hormel is definitely worth a second look. Do you currently own HRL stock or plan to do so in the near future? Please leave a comment with your thoughts on the company in the comments below. Thank you for watching guys. If you found this information helpful, please drop a like below. Till next time, Stock Ninja out. I am not a financial advisor and this video is for educational purposes only. Please do your own research before buying or selling any stock seen in this video. Thank you.